Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Python project in Visual Studio 2017. I'm also going to show you how to add existing Python files to that project and um, how to change the file that is the active file that runs when you execute. Okay, so the first thing that you'll do once Visual Studio is loaded, you'll need to go to File, New and then project and then this will open all the project templates it might take a little while the first time okay so just be patient that's a good sign that it says initializing templates okay when this finally comes up it'll show you all the different languages so just make sure on the window on this left hand side that you select other languages and then you find the python section there's loads of different things you can do when you're creating Python projects, but the one we want is where it says Python application, the second from the top. So select that first. Right, now down at the bottom, you need to come up with a name for your Python application. So I'm just going to call this uh, Python test. And then select your folder. So it'll select a default folder that will be your home drive. But if you want to um, create it anywhere else, just click the browse button. Okay, so once you've set up the folder and the, the name for the project, just click OK. So now what it'll do is it'll chug away and it'll generate a load of um, files for you and create a default Python file. And we can test this works straight away in a minute. So it's still creating the project. It doesn't take too long because um, Python's not very complicated to uh, set up a project for. Okay, so it opens the file straight away. Now on this right hand side is where we should be able to see the files. Now I can't see them at the minute, so that's not a big problem. So I just go up to the view menu and I say Solution Explorer. This is the thing that contains all the files that are part of your project. So if I open that, you can see straight away I've got Python test. That's the name I gave to the project. And then I've got one Python file, a .py file. So that's this file that's open on the screen. If I close that, it may look like nothing's loaded, but actually all you've got to do is double click in the Solution Explorer and it'll load the file. So let's just do a test by typing in our Python. And one thing that's nice about Visual Studio, you'll see that when you type print and then do the left parentheses, it'll put the right parentheses in for you. You can also, if you hold down Control and use your scroll wheel, you can zoom um, to make the text bigger or smaller. And you get line numbers as well. Right, so I just want to print some text. So I put a double quote. It puts through the double quote for me. And I'm just going to put hello. To run it, I can click this little run button at the top. Or I can just press F5. So the function key 5. It'll chug the first time through. It'll chug. And then it'll generate your little console window. And eventually the program will run. Hopefully it's going to say hello. When it finally runs. It's still chugging away. Yep, there you go. And then it puts the standard press any key to continue. Press that and it finishes. Okay, this isn't the Python program I want. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an existing Python file so I can make it part of this project. So I'm going to go over to where the name of the project is, where it says Python test, not the solution bit, just where it says Python test on its own. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say add existing item because it's something that exists i'll show you how to add a new one in a minute but i'm just going to find another python file so it's an existing python file so it'll bring up the browser for me files so i'm going to look for it's not going to be in there i'm just going to look for something that i've got this python file just to show you how it works uh, coding no not in there I think I've got some in year 11 programming. So Python functions. So in here I've got a string uh, function. So I'm going to add that. If I've got any other files that I want to add, I can select all files and it'll show me all the files in the folder. So I'll, I'll include that one as well. So you can either drag to select multiples or you can hold the control key down and individually select. And you can see down at the bottom it's picked two files. So I just click add and it adds them in there. Now, 
what I want to do is I want to run the code in strings.py. So you see, like I just click on those files and they appear. If I double click them, they appear permanently. Okay. Again, if I close all those, it's not the end of the world because all I've got to do is double click in Solution Explorer on the right hand side over here. Okay, so I, I want strings.py to actually run. So in order to make that happen, I need to right click on it and say set a startup file. Okay, so when I now press F5, and that's my string code, and you can see it's executed and it's asking me to stop. If I want to switch to another one, I just right click on it, say set a start file. Okay, so what you might want to do is add another Python file to this. So if you ever want to do that, just go up to project, add a new item, and it'll show you all the things you can add to a Python project. It'll have to initialize the templates for this first. There you go. Okay, so these are the ones that are applicable to Python programs. We just want a Python file. Give it a name at the bottom. New code. Uh, and add it. When you're naming things, try and make sure you don't use spaces. They're acceptable file names, but it can cause problems later on. So if I want some code in here, so I'm going to do print. One thing that get used to using, if you as you print, this little thing comes up. It's called IntelliSense. Um, and what it's there, it's there to help you not make mistakes. So I'm typing print. I put PR. It's finding all the things that got PR in them. If I move the cursor up and down, and highlight what I want, which is print, I can just press enter and it'll type it in. Notice what it also does, it tells me how it works as well. So it's always trying to help us. So I'm gonna print and just say new code test, just to see if that works. So I'm gonna run that. Oh, and it's done hello. So what have I done wrong? Oh, I forgot to set that as the startup program. So I'm gonna go over to the Solution Explorer, right click, so you set a start file. If I run it again, there you go, new code test. And that's it, that's all there is to it really. Um, just get used to zooming the zooming in, zooming out. It's quite handy. It lets you, if you're making silly mistakes with like brackets and things like that, and square brackets and parentheses and double quotes, you can you can see it easy. Okay, that's it.